this is the first question for which we got the answer 13. Uh, before letting you know where it is in the handbook, I'd like to let you know a small concept. Let's say this is a coordinate plane. Let's suppose this is a coordinate plane. And let us consider this as a line with the point x1, y1. And here is another point x2, y2. Let us suppose this thing. And what is the formula in order to find the distance between two points? As this is the formula, the distance between two points is the square root of y2 minus y1 whole square plus square root of x2 minus x1 whole square. Now, Let us suppose this is a right angle triangle. Okay, right angle triangle means that is 90 degrees here, right? And this distance, what this distance will be? This distance will be the difference in between two x coordinates. And here, this distance, how you can represent it? Oh, y2 minus. Y2 y. minus Y1. Y1. Perfect. You got it. So, and what is the Pythagoras theorem? Um, oh, how you find the hypotenuse here? Hypotenuse is the square root of sum of the okay. squares of other two sides. Here, D is the distance in between those two points where D is the hypotenuse of these two points actually. And here the base is x2 minus x1 and the height is y2 minus y1. That is how you got this formula. All right. No matter what, you need not to remember this formula. If you remember this formula, when you got such questions, you need not to go for handbook. But if you don't remember the formula, if you remember the concept, that's okay. Even though you don't remember in these two cases, then that is the case when you go for uh, your handbook. And I'm just explaining here, uh, in order to calculate the midpoint, what you have to do is, that is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So, and this will be 3 plus 9 by 2 comma 4 plus 10 by 2, which is 3 plus 9 by 2 is 6 and 4 plus 10 by 2 is 7. Yeah. And some of you may get doubt here that do we get this sort of simple questions in FE? Yes, you will get simple questions, but the simple questions number will be limited. We are not sure that we may get this simple question in mathematics or we may get in any other subject, but there is a chance that you may get these simple questions too. And the concept of midpoint is not mentioned in the handbook. There will be some concepts. If they are very easy, they may come or you may encounter them in your exam, though they are not listed in the handbook. All right. Now let's go to the question number three. What is the equation of the line passing through the given points x that is one comma two and y seven comma six? Here, I'll give you a tip for this question. If you know how to solve this question, that is more than welcome. If you don't know, then you can go to handbook in order to search for the formula and you have to know where exactly the formula is. And the third thing is, though you don't know the formula, you can solve this problem, but you have to go or you have to use a clue. You have to substitute the points in the equation. And then you have to check which equation satisfies the point. And that will be the answer. In certain cases, there will be two cases, two, two equations that may satisfy, but that equation doesn't satisfy but for both the points. It will just satisfy for one coordinate. Um, first, I'll tell you the formula way, and then I'll give you an easy way to, whichever is easy for you, you can pick it up. So let's, I'm, I'm going to take you to handbook once to show you the formula. Now you can see this. When they give you two points, this is the formula, which you have to take. Given two points and the slope is, m equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Again, moving to the presentation. So here it is now. What is the formula there? m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? 
what is the y2 value? 6. And what is the y1 value? 2. Coming to the x2, 7 minus 1. That gives a value of 4 by 5. No, my bad. 4 by 6, 7 minus 1 equal to 6. If you further simplify this, it is 2 by 3. Am I correct? So, the value of m, which is slope, that is 2 by 3. The slope of the equation is 2 by 3. Okay. Now, equation of the line. y equal to mx plus b. This is a formula which is given in the handbook once again. See here. This is a formula here. The standard form of the equation. When they give the slope m and b is the y-intercept value, this is the equation. But when we learn in India or uh, as a part of our academics, the formula or the equation is y is equal to mx plus c. Here it is y equal to mx plus b. Both are same but just the annotations are different. Don't get confused that the annotation is different. It is the same. Since here it is in the handbook y equal to mx plus b, I use the same thing. Both are same. equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That is x minus 2 by 7 minus 1 equal to 4 by 6, which is equal to 2 by 3. Right? And the equation of a line is y equal to mx plus b. Now, use any of the points which are given above, uh, be it uh, 1 comma 2 or be it 7 comma 6. Use any of these two points. You, you will come to calculate the value of b. Now, now use this point. Um, now use uh, the point 1 comma 2 here. Then 2 in the y place and the m value is 2 by 3 x plus b. Where uh, the x value is supposed to be 1. So that will be 2 equal to 2 by 3 plus b. And b is equal to 2 minus 2 by 3, which is equal to 4 by 3. Okay. Now, we have to substitute the b value in y equal to mx plus b equation. y equal to mx plus b, where the value of m is 2 by 3, we got a slope, and the b value is 4 by 3. Now it will be 3y equal to 2x plus 4, 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. Alright, so which of the equations is satisfying here? None of the equations is satisfying here. I think there is a typo error within the question. It is supposed to be 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Uh, let us let us make a check here. Supposedly, this should be the equation which we have to get. Now, let us substitute the values uh, or the points which are mentioned here in the equation. Uh, let us say the point 1 comma 2, if it satisfies, 2 into 1 minus 3 into 2 plus 4 equal to 0. Yeah, it satisfies. 2 plus 4 is 6 and 6 minus 6 equal to 0. Now, let us check with another point if it satisfies. 2 into 7 minus 3 into 6 plus 4 equal to 0. Yes, it is 14 plus 4 minus 18 equal to 0. So, these two satisfies with the given points x, 1 comma, given points 1 comma 2 and 7 comma 6. So, here the equation it was mistyped. My apologies for that. It is supposed to be 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. If um, this this was the equation given in the question, then what we can do is we can directly substitute these two points. This point and this point we can substitute directly within the question and we have to check which is the equation that satisfies for this problem. And if uh, and I'm damn sure that there will be only one equation that will satisfy both the points since it has pass through both the points and this will be the answer directly. You need not to go for formula if you can solve by using the substitution concept. Is that clear? Facing the challenge of the FE exam, looking for a way to prepare smarter, not harder? Bhavanam Sasitusi has the answer.
introducing bhavanam c2c fe exam preparation program designed for civil engineers aiming to pass the fe exam and excel in the usa wondering what sets us apart our expert team meet mahendra eit and project manager who knows the fe exam inside and out k n mathu eit and civil engineering masters graduate and chandra bhartan iit post graduate and top 422 gate rank achiever these experienced instructors have already helped hundreds succeed will you be next in just 3 months you will master all 14 essential subjects through live online classes held every evening from 8:30 to 9:30 pm monday to friday but that's not all for each subject sharpen your skills with 15 dedicated practice questions and follow up with quizzes containing 45 questions to solidify your understanding prepare like a pro with three full length 6 hour mock exams designed to mirror the final exam plus receive personalized guidance through one on one sessions with our expert instructors to refine your strategy we understand balancing work life and studies can be challenging so we have got you covered with one year access to recorded sessions and replays of live classes to catch up any time here's the game changer While others charge over one thousand dollars, we are offering everything for just three fifty dollars. Want any even better deal? Contact the number below now to claim a flat fifty dollars discount and get it all for only three hundred dollars. Enjoy a hundred percent refund if you are not fully satisfied within the first week. No questions asked. Our live batch starts fresh every month on fifteen. Don't miss your chance to join. Limited seats available. Contact the number below to secure your spot and get enrolled today. Okay, here, e question I'm sharing with you. Slope picture. Determine the length of a line segment with a slope of five by four measured from the y-axis to a point eight comma five. Choose the length to the nearest integer. Another slope picture or point picture. Point slope formula. Again, go to the handbook. Point slope formula. This is the point slope formula. Y minus y one equal to m into x minus x one. Y minus y one equal to m into x minus x one. And uh, let's say uh, a point a one hundred eight comma five one hundred. Copy y minus y one equal to y by four into X minus eight. So five by four x minus five by four into eight. That is y minus five. Then y minus five equal to five by four x minus ten. That is y is equal to five by four x minus five. क्वेश्चन लो इंकोटे एमएन नडू बंटे मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द वाई एक्सिस एंड नटिका मेंशन चीज़ शेडू मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द वाई एक्सिस तू ए पॉइंट व्हेन द पॉइंट इज़ गेटिंग मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द वाई एक्सिस एंड नटिका अंटे देन इन दैट केस मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द वाई एक्सिस सो द पॉइंट इ कोऑर्डिनेट द कोऑर्डिनेट इ दी जीरो जीरो होते थे एंड व Zero comma minus one, zero comma minus two. So the x coordinate on the y-axis is always zero. इकड़ कोड़ा मिलो, इ केस लो, x इंगन का, x इंगन का zero पेट कुंटे इंगन का you will get y value. You have to substitute x as zero, then you will get y as minus five. And इ पॉइंट हो चेसी, zero comma minus five. And मी देखरा already इनको पॉइंट तुन्दे. Eight comma five. Eight comma five one. Eddie, you got a question. Let's share. So now you know two points, and make two points. Tell us now. Blue formula. Tell us. What is that formula? D equal to y two minus root of yeah root of x two minus x one square y two minus y one square. Yeah. So our formula uses this. Second, the answer is also the chapter. I am not covering. Point eight one. Twelve point eight one. So. Miku, yeah, you are right. So y two minus y one is five. Five minus minus five. I mean, like five plus five. Yes, you are right. And next eight minus zero. Eight minus zero. So, then calculate this ten thousand number twelve point eight one. Eight one, kada eight one. And Miku twelve point eight one achhi na puru. Okay, all question lo twelve point eight one onna padi kino. Miru oxar question check check kornei malla. 
చూస్ ద లెంత్ టు ద నియరెస్ట్ ఇంటీజర్ అన్నారు కాబట్టి మీరు ఈ నెంబర్ ని పిక్ చేయొద్దు ఎందుకు అంటే కనుక ఇంటీజర్స్ అంటే కనుక మనం ఇలా డిస్మల్స్ లో కన్సిడర్ చేయం కాబట్టి సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో ఫర్ ద ఓల్ ఇంటీజర్ అన్నట్టు రైట్ అండ్ మనకు వచ్చిన ఆన్సర్ థర్టీన్ ఓకే నౌ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫైండ్ ద కోఆర్డినేట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పాయింట్ వేర్ ద లైన్ టూ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ త్రీ వై ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఇంటర్సెక్స్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ నేను ఒక బొమ్మకి ఇస్తాను అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సే ద ఆన్సర్ విత్ ఇన్ టూ టు త్రీ సెకండ్స్ ట్రై టు దీనికి మీరు ఈ ఈక్వేషన్ ని లేకపోతే ఈ క్వశ్చన్ ని సాల్వ్ చేయాల్సిన రిక్వైర్మెంట్ కూడా లేదు బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ దట్స్ ఇట్ ఓకే ఇది ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఇది వై యాక్సిస్ రైట్ ఇది జీరో జీరో ఈ పాయింట్ వన్ కామా జీరో ఇందాక ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో చెప్పినట్టుగానే ఇది టూ కామా జీరో అండ్ ఇట్ సైడ్ వచ్చేసి మైనస్ వన్ కామా జీరో సో ఇక్కడ క్వశ్చన్ ఏమి అడిగారు ఇంటర్సెక్స్ దా ఎక్సాక్సిస్ అన్నారు ఎక్సాక్సిస్ ని ఇంటర్సెక్ట్ చేస్తుంది అంటే ఏదో పాయింట్ లో ఇంటర్సెక్ట్ చేయాలి అలా ఏదో పాయింట్ లో ఇంటర్సెక్ట్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు వై వాల్యూ ఏమవుతుంది జీరో అండ్ హెన్స్ చెక్ ఆన్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ ఏ వై వాల్యూ జీరో ఉంది మైనస్ త్రీ అండ్ జీరో రైట్ సో ఇన్ ద కేస్ బ్లైండ్లీ మీరు ప్రాబ్లమ్ ని కూడా సాల్వ్ చేయాల్సిన పని లేదు దట్ ఈస్ ద ఓన్లీ ఆప్షన్ ఎందుకు అంటే ఎస్ యూ యూర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంటర్సెక్టింగ్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ వై వాల్యూ అనేది జీరో అయిపోతుంది అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఓన్లీ ఆప్షన్ ఓకే ఇదే ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో మైనస్ త్రీ కమ జీరో కాకుండా త్రీ కమ జీరో కూడా ఇచ్చారు అనుకోండి ఆప్షన్స్ లో దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సి అదైనా అవ్వచ్చు ఇదైనా అవ్వచ్చు రైట్ అప్పుడు మీరు సాల్వింగ్ కెళ్ళండి లేదు అనుకుంటే కనుక ఇది టూ సెకండ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ వేర్ యూ సే త్రీ మోర్ మినిట్స్ నౌ లెట్ సాల్వ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ టూ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ త్రీ వై ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో సిన్స్ ఇట్ ఇంటర్సెక్ట్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వై వాల్యూ జీరో ఆబ్వియస్లీ టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో వేర్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ అండ్ వై వాల్యూ ఈస్ జీరో రైట్ సో బీ ఇస్ ద ఆన్సర్